Uh, it's going to be three years soon since this epic trip happened. So why am I posting it now? Some of you probably know that my hard disk crashed, so I lost most of my data from this memorable Euro trip. It was so heartbreaking for me and it took two years to recover the data. Maybe I'll talk about it some other time. But for now, let me take you straight back to Montenegro, this time to the blissfully serene Skada National Park. While Montenegro is known for its stunning coastline, rightfully so, we have seen that in our previous video of Kotor, I would still say that the essence of Montenegro lies in its rugged mountains and dense national parks. This tiny country with natural diversity as well as historic grandeur, which is less than half the size of Kerala state in India, boasts of five national parks, one of them being Skadar Lake National Park. And while I was in Skadar, funny thing happened. I got like a lot of compliments from people saying that, you know, I'm very nice, I, I, I'm very pretty and I have, you know, beautiful eyes. It's, <laughs> it feels nice, I'm not gonna lie. It was so weird and <laughs> there's actually more to this story as there were more such instances. We will get into it later. But first, let me start from the beginning when I started my journey from Koto to Skadar where I was staying. This day was going to be a long day <laughs> with a lot of waiting as you'll soon realize. While Koto to Virapaza was about one hour by drive, I ended up taking a bus and that took about three hours as there were no direct connections. I wanted to catch the 7.30 bus to Sutamor and then to Virapazar, which is the starting point of Skadalik. But then I missed the bus, waited for one and a half hour for the next bus. The journey was quite scenic, passing through Sweti Stefan, where celebrities vacation and boudoir and it wasn't too tiring. However, I would suggest you either drive or opt for a tour package as it's much more convenient. While most visitors go to the Albania side of Lake Skadar, visiting Skadar Lake in Montenegro can be quite rewarding too. For one, two-thirds of Skadar Lake is in Montenegro while one-third is in Albania and it's the largest lake in the Balkans and one of Europe's top bird habitats. Encompassing steep mountains, island monasteries, clear waters and floating meadows of water lilies. €20 Euro gives you a 4-hour access to the park and a 2-hour boat ride in a traditional Montenegrin lake boat. That's all you need to kick back, relax and see the highlights of this magical lake. If you can spare more time, I would suggest you to do so as it will take you deep into the national park, maybe also to the island monasteries which can only be reached by boat. The sparkling quiet waters of Skadar, surrounded by rugged peaks, I would say makes it the dull lake of Europe. The Montenegrin site has been a national park since 1983 and the Albanian site is a nature reserve essentially making the whole lake one huge protected area. Actually, this national park is supposed to have a lot of bird species. I saw some cormorants, pelicans, but I don't have much idea about birds and the guide doesn't speak English. So it's a little bit of a problem. For now, I'm enjoying the view. One of the reasons it's so important is because it's one of the last breeding grounds of the endangered Dalmatian pelicans, a huge bird with a wingspan of about 3 meters that can weigh up to 90 kgs. 
these majestic creatures are very vulnerable to human disturbance by fishermen and seasonal flooding on Skadar Lake. And with ecotourism, providing financial incentives to the local fishermen has curbed human disturbance to a certain extent here. stopped here for swimming for about 20 minutes. Such a pretty landscape and absolutely no one else here. Okay. Lake Skadar is also culturally significant to Montenegro. People have settled here for centuries. It was part of the Slav Kingdom until it was conquered by the Ottoman Turks in the 13th century. While a lake boat cruise is a relaxing way to navigate the quiet waters, a more adventurous option would be kayaking. That's what I'll be doing next time I visit here. Also disappointingly, I only found out about the island monasteries after I was back from my trip, so that did not happen either. And getting back to the story, there was another guy who uh, who asked me if I have a husband and when I said no, he's like, uh, I'm free, I can be your husband. <laughs> it was like so random, I, I did not really know what to say, I was like okay. There was another instance where this man arrived on another boat who gave me a flying kiss and said I love you and that got a little weird for me and I started ignoring it then. Surprisingly, all this happened only when I arrived in Virapaza, not in the coastal town of Kotor where I was staying. Apparently, Bollywood movies and Hindi soap operas are quite popular in Montenegro. So, whenever they see an Indian, they like go gaga over them, I think. I think that's what's happening here. But also, I have to say, I did not feel unsafe when all this was happening either. So solo women travelers, don't let my experience stop you from visiting this serene and magical lake. And while at Skada Lake, I made a quick stop at Besak Fortress. This recently reconstructed fortress was built by the Turks and was the scene of many a bloody battle and was also used as a prison during World War II. European Union helped restore this fortress. If nothing, go for the splendid views of the village and the Skada Lake. Looking back, this is when it all began, shooting self-portraits from my camera out of sheer necessity and then I started doing more as I loved the results. It was a long day for me with a missed bus and also a missed train and a lot of waiting between stops. I was out of the hostel before 7am and I only got back by around 10pm. But I would say it was a wild and interesting day for me. While this trip was more impulsive with little to no research involved, I know what I would like to do next time I'm here. I would love to stay by the Skada Lake for a week, embrace the slow pace of life in this tiny, timeless villages, discover the amazing vineyards in the region, spot the endangered pelicans, kayak through the serene landscape and go visit the island monasteries. A girl can dream, right?